Peace, family. This is Essie, the gardener. I'm back, you guys, giving you an update on what's going on in my squash zucchini bucket, you guys. Now, I don't remember what actually went in here, but I know they were squash and probably two or three variety of um, different ones. So, um, there is the, gre the green zucchini, and there's a possibility of... The crook neck is in here because here we go. There's one back there. There she is. So I'm not sure if the prolific is in here, but I know for sure that the crook neck and the green zucchini and the crook neck squash is in here. But what I wanted to show you guys is I have some lemon cucumbers coming in you guys and it's about I would say about four to five of them there is one and there is over here there is two little ones and here is another one over here which is crazy because this one says the cucumber pickling on this this label and they are somewhat intertwining with each other because here i have the lemon and also the pickling one over here and this one has not Started. I don't see any because my watermelon is beginning to invade over here as well and I don't know if that's a good thing I think there's some something called the cross pollinator so I hope um, my plants don't get confused or the bees don't get confused whatever happens when when that happens but um there's my worker he's out here getting busy and I don't know what this bug is called but I can't stand them. And they probably burst some type of egg that destroys your um, crop. But um, definitely wanted to bring you guys an update on my lemon cucumber and my green zucchini and my crook neck. All right, you guys. So, y'all remember I told y'all I moved the. Uh, cantaloupe over here and it seems to have done perked up so I'm happy about that um, I'm not sure if I should get rid of these browning leaves or let them just do what they need to do and just uh, decompose on their own but I can see that they looking very happy now they perked up and even on the other side of the trellis the other one that's lined up with the other veggies is doing much better as well so I'm trying to keep everything watered in really good. And I did try to take off a lot of the browning leaves. And I'm probably going to have to do the same thing over here. As you can see the um, heat damage. Uh, but they're still thriving. So that's a good thing. That's a plus. So all right, you guys. I have plenty more things that I need to do out here in the yard. So let me get to it. See y'all on the next video. This is Essie the Gardener. Thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification button. Peace.